Hello YouTube, time for a video again. I'm sat in front of Wolfish Tank. There's one or two fry in here. I remember when I did a, a, the intro uh, a few weeks ago, I said the uh, the female's been in that pot for uh, two weeks and she's never showed her, showed her face. And she did some photo bombing. Someone picked up on that. If She poked her head out of the pot. Anyway, today's video is not going to be about Wolfie. Come on, Wolfie. Yeah, there's one or two for you. They're not many. Today's video is not going to be about wolf. It's going to be about one of my favourite fish in the fish room at the moment. My rare fish, the Som Thomas Sickler Asfraki. Uh, an update. So we'll uh, go and have a look how the Thomas Sickler Asfraki are settling in. And uh, also where you can purchase these Asfraki from. Well worth keeping, yeah. So uh, without further ado, let's get on it. Right, an update on these super rare fish in the hobby, the uh, Thomas Sickler Asfraki. That male is looking absolutely stunning. There's three species of Thomas Sickler. The Asfraki, what we've got here, the Cybuldi and the Tuba. So uh, they're all river, riverine species and like a uh, nice pristine water and a bit of extra water flow. Anyway, like, like I said, when I, when I first uh, put these in, in the tank the female had some white damage to the end of her fins but they healed up nicely all on their own no medications were needed you know so like nice good water conditions they heal up uh, perfectly perfectly okay by themselves but they are looking absolutely stunning but i can't take full credit for these because I, I haven't I've, like i just said i've only had these about three weeks so uh, all the credit wants to go to a, a Graham, Graham Evans, who, uh, who bred and raised these. He has a YouTube channel, Grummy. So if you look at Grummy's YouTube channel, you'll be able to see the parents of these. Yes, yeah, so he, he, wants to, he deserves all the credit, but hopefully I can uh, raise these up, uh, maybe get some spawn from them and uh, learn and enjoy, enjoy though. Yes, yeah, so if you uh, fancy... Uh, the challenge of re rearing these super rare Thomas Sickler. If you wanted to purchase any, I know of two places where you can purchase some. One would be uh, Sicklers of the Americas in Florida, and the other would be Wharf Aquatics. And uh, they're all been, they all come from the same source as from from Graham or Grummy. So the, the ones over over the pond in the United States are they're quite expensive because I think Graham had a lot there's a lot of red tape and a lot of hassle to get them across there in the first place so obviously that's have to go into the uh, costings of them like so if you want some if you live over the pond and you fancy having a go at these uh, Asfraki uh, look up uh, Sicklers of the Americas stock list and uh, email Dan and, but if you live in the UK, take a trip, take a trip to Wharf Aquatics. And even if you don't want to buy any of these, I recommend you take a trip to Wharf Aquatics anyway. They're well worth a ride because uh, they have lots of different species of fish and there are lots of nice things to, to see. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Graham's got some there at Wharf Aquatics. They're probably about two, two inches maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less about two inches and they're reasonable reasonably priced so what i'll do now i'll just show you a little little clip of the the tank what the what they're in and the, the price is written on the glass so uh, let's uh, let's have a quick look at these little thomas siklerus racky the well priced ones are from wharf aquatics Yes, where they are, look, you can just see on the glass there, Thomas Sickler Asraki, mega rare, £22.50, or 5 for £100. So you can see the little the spotting that coming on them already, so get these home in your aquarium, they'll soon colour up. Right, here we are now, back at the tank. Now, there's nice little fish, those, weren't there? 
So I'm sure if you was to purchase five and get them home, they'll soon put some size on, soon get some colour to them, and then you'll probably end up with a nice breeding pair. So we'll get yourself down there and check them out. Anyway, these uh, Thomas Sickler Asfraki are uh, riverine species, as I said, so a good water flow would be quite beneficial to them. So what I uh, ought to be doing really is get myself a wave maker, stick to the glass there, and get a little bit more current going in the tank. I have been told by Graham that they can be quite prone to bloat. So uh, a little bit of extra care needs to be taken with your, your quality of your water and also your diet. They're actually omnivores, but looking at the shape of the fish's uh, mouth and jaws, I would say it's more on the vegetarian side of being an om omnivore. I would say they like the uh, veggie matter a lot more. And also that'll help with the bloat. You can often tell a lot, you can tell a lot by a fish's mouth. Same with birds, you know a, a predator bird with a great big beak, curved beak for tearing meat, or a seed eating bird with a little tiny beak for eating seeds, or a long pointed bill for digging in mud, for probing for insects. The same with fish. You can tell a lot about a fish by the shape of its mouth and its and its teeth. Well to me that looks like a grazing a grazing mouth, so uh, what I'm going to do with mine is feed them a lot, like a, a lot of algae based pellets. I've been feeding them on cichlid gold with a colour enhancer in it. The cichlid XL, the Hikari cichlid XL, which has got a lot of algae content. And also, uh, I've been dropping the odd uh, pleco wafer in there. They seem to love them pleco wafers. Yeah, but what I don't want people to think is uh, that Woods thinks he's some sort of an expert. I'm not an expert. Like I said, this, this fish are new to me. I've only kept them uh, about three weeks now. So ask me in, in about five years. I'd, I'd say Graham's the expert because he's, he's kept these for uh, many, many years, like I said, and he's uh, bred different ones and raised them, and he's done an excellent job of these. Can't fault him. I'm so, so pleased with him, and I feel myself so lucky to be able to do a good deal. He's done all the hard work for me. But I, I would say they the like a lot of vegetable uh, matter in the diet. Anyway, I think I'd better get some food in this tank, and because uh, otherwise I'm going to be waffling on too long, and people are going to get fed up. We'll get some food in the tank. I'll put some sinking sink uh, Hikari gold in there with the colour enhancer this time. And uh, you watch them, they love, they love uh, grubbing about, they like grazing and grubbing about in the substrate. So uh, let's get on this fish feeding. Well, I haven't put any food in yet, but they're already like looking at the bottom, grazing like I just said, grazing away in the stones and uh, sifting through, looking for, looking for food. That's always a good healthy sign, isn't it? When, when the fish have got a nice healthy appetite. But what I have noticed about these they can be quite scatty, so try not to make any sudden movements next to the tank. So I wouldn't want to put your tank next to where the children are running about. But I don't have children in my house, and I've got mine are all flown, the, all grown up and flown the nest. Yes, yeah, so uh, here we go. We're using sinking Hikari gold with a colour enhancer this time. They're absolutely loving that, aren't they? They've got a really good appetite. It's always nice to see your fish with a really healthy appetite. And I, I, I uh, have a starving day once a week just to keep them, uh, keep them on the toes, keep them hungry, keep them, keep them alert. It always does them good to have a, a starving day. I just love watching my fish feed. I think most of us fish keepers are the same, aren't we? We, sit, we like to sit there and relax, watching the fish feed. I come home from work in an evening. I go around all my aquariums, switch on all the lights, let them get used to the light for uh, half an hour, and then I go around with my fish food. But with me having so uh, many tanks, it does half take me quite a while to get round, round the whole lot. But I love it. That's part of the hobby. Relaxing in front of your fish, and watching them feed. I think I'm, I don't think I'm any different to anybody else, am I? Are you not the same? Do you enjoy sitting there watching your fish uh, feeding? Well, I do anyway. 
Yeah, tomorrow I'll alternate it. Tomorrow I'll probably give them some Pleco wafers. And I do use uh, floating as well sometimes, but they can be a bit reluctant to come to the top. But I like watching them feed in, on the bottom. I mean, if, if I uh, didn't put any sinkers in and starved them for two or three days, no doubt they would uh, get more used to eating the floaters. But I think they like to feed off the bottom. Like I said, grubbing through all the stones and uh, looking for the little bits and particles and debris. Anyway, uh, I think I've gone on enough about these Asfraki. Hopefully we'll do many, many updates on these. So uh, shut up Waffling Woods. I reckon it's about time. I reckon it's about time I wrap this video up. But I'm really loving these at the moment. What do you lot think? Put a comment below and let me know what you think of this Asraki. Right, we're back here in front of Wolfish Tank. It's uh, about time to wrap this one up, like. So uh, them, them uh, Thomas Sitka are, are settling in really nicely. Uh, I believe I've, we've got a male and a female, but we're not 100% sure. As I said, Graham raised these fish, and so he knows more about it than me. But you're never, never, never sure until the female uh, spawns. But anyway... That, that's, uh, I'm quite happy with the way things are going so far. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be good if I got a spawn in? Now, that would really put the icing on the cake, wouldn't it? Anyway, Woods, this video has gone on long enough. I'm super pumped about the Asfraki. Uh, so, uh, time to wrap it up properly. But before I go, I've got to do it, Anna. I? I want to thank all my subscribers, all my watchers and listeners. And uh, thank you for the support. So, uh, until next time, happy fish keeping to you all. Ta-ra!